Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti and this is episode 11 of the Battleship Brawl Tournament. In this episode we have the Gladius by Bricks facing off against the uh, Night Glimmer by Tic Tac. Um, both of these ships have been seen in previous episodes, so we're going to get right into the battle here and get it underway. Uh, the triple ship entry of the Night Glimmer heads out. They are fairly quick little, uh, they're more like uh, cruisers than battleships, honestly. Maybe even all the way down to destroyers. Nah, they got too much weaponry for a destroyer. Uh, first volley coming in, knocking out a gun on the Night Glimmer there. Looks like it knocked out the AI for this back one too. It is uh, turned around stopped aiming. So is this one. It looks like it, the weapon controlling AI may have been taken down. Uh, Gladius seems rather unfazed by the ex high explosive volley from the Night Glimmer. We'll see how it, if it continues being that way because we, we've seen the Gladius. It can take some hits. It can take some damage. And there we go. That is uh... Like it did some damage but it's not that much. Oh, that, that volley looks like it... Oh, I had some deflections there off the sloped armor. Some ricochets from the new the new mechanic. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find any way to uh, revert back to a previous save. I know it's possible to keep the game from updating, uh, but once it's updated, I have not found any way to change the... Uh, change that back to a previous version. Yeah, the Gladius is taking the hits like a champ. Just taking it on the chin and continuing on. While the Oh! Blam! There goes a turret off the Night Glimmer. Uh, it is not aiming anymore. It, did, did it lose its uh, weapon controlling AI or, or something? I'm not sure what's going on there. It is not firing in... I don't think this one is anymore either. Oh, this one is despawning, I think? Or no, it just had some blocks falling off. It's getting dangerously close to being sinking, though. It actually is sinking, I think. Yeah, it's definitely sinking. So I'll start the timer on that. Oh. Oh, is it coming back up? And it needs to actually get to the surface again for me to stop the timer. It is coming back up, and it has broken the surface. Okay. And this gun seems to have gotten stuck on the hull. I have this uh, whole reversing thing that the Night Glimmers do, I don't know if that's intentional or if Tic Tac just forgot to disable reverse or or what, but uh, it does not seem to be doing the Night Glimmer any favors. Oh, did we lose one of the Night Glimmers? No, they're all three still alive, but one of them is not on the surface of the water anymore. Where are you? Not this way, this way. Okay. There you are. You are sinking. You are most certainly sinking. Okay. There's a different one from last time. The Gladius seems to have, be having a little trouble actually killing these off. Killing the Night Glimmers off. Now I only see one on the surface. One of them is below 80% though. Oh, this one has broken the surface again. Or no, that one has. Okay. Having to keep separate clocks for each entry, this is getting a little complicated. Tic Tac, why you no know make ships that float? <laughs> yeah, the uh, Gladius is at, up at 97%. It is doing just fine. It, it does seem to have uh, taken some serious damage to its guns in the front. But uh, the rear guns are still working, and I, it doesn't seem that the Night Glimmers have any repair bots. There's no blocks being repaired at all. Yeah, nothing. So this is just this is a, a war of attrition, and uh, the Night Glimmers just don't have the resources to. fix themselves. In that case, if the Night Glimmers all become disabled and unable to fire, like this one has a gun, but it's not aiming. It's not firing. It has two guns, actually. 
if that happens to all of them, I'm just gonna call it call it a, a victory for the Gladius at that point because they have no repair capability to bring themselves back. And it, uh, we have another sinking night glimmer somewhere. All, this makes all three of them have sunk at some point now. Oh, and it despawned because it was below 80%. Okay, well. Oh, that, that was a ricochet. It hit the water and then ricocheted off the deck. Well, that's interesting. This one is moving, but it has no operable weapon. So it is basically defeated because it has no repair capabilities. This one is about to get hit. Took some damage there. But it still looks like it's still in the fight, even though one of its guns is down in the water and not firing for some reason. Those shells both missed. Oh, big hit there. Gladius all the way up to 99%. The uh, Night Glimmer is no longer out damaging the Gladius' repair capabilities. The lack of repair bots in the Night Glimmer are is a, a fatal flaw. Oh, and there goes the one gun that was still firing. Uh, I'm going to give it a minute, see if any of the guns manage to do anything. If this goes for a minute without any shots being fired by the Night Glimmer, I'm just going to call it in favor of the Gladius. Because they have no repair capability to bring them back. And I don't know if there's just the AI is derping and maybe it'll fix itself. Because like it looks like this one is caught on the, uh, the ship's rudder. Uh, yeah, this one looks like it's still active. It's just stuck on the ship's rudder. It hasn't figured out that it can turn around the other way to attack its target. Like, this one is now sinking. Is it below 80%? No, but it's almost. If the Gladius' shells would just stop bouncing off the surface of the water... Oh, that was an explosion. Did the Gladius shoot itself, or was that... A, oh, having some FPS issues there. Did the Gladius just shoot itself, or did the Night Glimmer get a shot, actually get a shot in? Yeah, it seems this, this gun is just... it is stuck. But I'm, I'm hesitant to end it now, because that gun is actually functional, it's just stuck on the hull. Well, the, the ship's wheel. That makes me a little bit hesitant to call it in favor of the Gladius, because the Night Glimmer's... Night Glimmer technically isn't disabled. This one is. This one's not even aiming, so... Like, I have no problem with calling this one dead. If it had any repair capability whatsoever, I would not mind it, but... Yeah. I, I am... Well, there's only a minute and 45 seconds left-ish. Minute 45 now. Oh, that's probably going to spell the death knell of that Night Glimmer. Just backing up, backing up, backing up. Oh, the other one seems to have despawned, I just noticed. So it looks like the Gladius is going to win the first round here. Just needs to finish off this last night glimmer, which is being saved from sinking by its backing up motion. Oh, but... There went a big hit. All that's left is the deck. It has no weapons left. All of its weapons are destroyed. There are no other entries. I'm calling this battle, even though it's almost the time's almost up. I'm calling this in favor of the Gladius, just for the sake of time and the uh, viewability of the video. Because that, that, there was no way that that Night Glimmer was ever going to defeat the Gladius with it uh, not having any guns or any repair capability. It was literally impossible. But yeah, having uh, repair bots on entries like that, like a good strategy that I would have gone for if I was going to do a multiple entry 
like the uh, Night Glimmer, is to have a significant amount of uh, repair bots on each vessel, so that when the enemy ship switches targets to one of the more one of the less damaged uh, vessels, the one that is damaged will get plenty of time to repair itself. It, you, you, uh, it'll give you more time to actually fight and like maybe bring that vessel back up. That's one of the advantages of having a multi-ship entry like that. But anyway, we'll get round two underway and see if it uh, goes similar similarly. Meh. Yeah, I'm not sure why that ship's wheel is even there. It's just getting in the way of the gun. Probably doing, te probably was testing it and then forgot to remove it or something. Initial volley from the night glimmer. Not very effective. Most of it uh, striking glancing blows against the hull. The only real, oh, and one of the night gloomers took a big hit all the way down to 83% already. Lost two of its guns. Um, the only way the Night Glimmer is going to have a chance is if it lands some of those HE shells on the guns themselves, like that almost did, and takes out the guns. If they can knock out the weapons of the Gladius, then it might have a chance. But, uh... If just trying to take it off on the hull, or just do hull damage, that's not going to work very well. Oh, man. Well, they're doing better this time. They haven't, uh... The Night Glimmers haven't taken as much damage. Ooh, they're... And they're slowly chipping away towards those guns. If they knock those guns out, they'll have a chance. But, uh... Ooh! There goes another another turret off the Night Glimmer. Two turrets, actually, it looks like. This one has been disabled and no longer functioning. This one has, a uh, A smaller barrel. It's taken some gauge damage. The Gladius is changed its uh, attentions to another one of the Night Glimmers. Takes a hit, but uh, seems to be okay for now. Might sink in forward motion. It's getting awfully close to that. Oh, some good hits to the guns there. That's exactly what the Night Glimmer needs if it wants to survive and win this, to take out those guns. If it can manage that, then the, it is possible that they could chip away enough of the Gladius to get an HP victory. I don't think they're going to be able to kill it in 10 minutes. But they might be able to win via HP if they're able to uh, knock out a significant portion of the guns. Oh, this rear gun has been almost completely destroyed. Oh, those shells did not look like they were uh, particularly well aimed. That did some damage, blew a hole in the deck. Not a, not a lot of damage, but it did some. That gun is uh, really badly damaged. All that's basically left is a barrel and the firing pieces. That's probably going to be extremely inaccurate. The Night Glimmers are doing much better this time around. It's a much closer fight. And with the Gladius' weapons being damaged like they are, they're slowly uh, catching up in the HP values. Because the, the Gladius is not doing as much damage. But if even one Night Glimmer gets sunk, it will be disastrous for Tic Tac. Uh, if those t and those turrets, as I mentioned when I was doing the overview of the Night Glimmer, are really fragile. They needed to be a lot more durable than that. But they're, uh, the Night Glimmer is actually, this time around, doing fairly well because of all the uh, superstructure damage that it's doing to the, the gun, the Gladius' guns and uh, protecting itself by destroying its enemy's ability to damage it. Uh-oh. Starting to get a bit low in the water there. Better be careful, you're getting awfully close to sinking. Oh, and there's another one of those ricochets. Man, I wish I could go back to the... Oh, and now you're sinking. I wish I could go back to the previous version. So that that thing didn't... That didn't exist, because that mechanic was not even on the radar when these ships were being designed. So I bet a lot of people using the pure explosive shells would have put inertial fuses on them. 
had they realized that. So it's not entirely fair, but at the same time, there's nothing I can do about it, and unfortunately, the snake glimmer is still sinking and is running out of time on its uh, disqualification clock, but now it's below 80%, so it's going to despawn. Yep, there it goes. And that pretty much kills any hope of the Night Glimmer winning this round. Because it would have to get the Gladius down to 61% or so in order to... Uh, pull out a victory. And the Gladius is now repairing faster than it's taking damage. Oh, no. Now this Night Glimmer is sinking. Well, not quite. Still got a little bit of the ship above the waterline there. But, yeah, it's barely floating. If it takes much more damage, it probably won't. That shell might... No, not quite. Man, just... Oh! That's a hit. That may have just... Oh, that took out the engine. Yeah, this Night Glimmer is now dead in the water. It's also below 80%, so... Yep, there it goes. Despawning. Now the Gladius just has one more Night Glimmer to deal with. And that shell looked... Oh, so close. So close. The Night Glimmer started backing up at the last moment there, and I think that helped, helped it dodge. The Night Glimmer put up a much better fight this time around, but the Gladius was just too tanky. The Night Glimmers were not able to do... To make their damage stick well enough. Fast enough. Now it's just a matter of time before... Oh, well, this Night Glimmer is doing some uh, shimmying and shaking and dodging and evading the shots of the Gladius. But, uh... There's no way... Like, it has to kill the Gladius now before time runs out or it loses. Because it is at... Even if this craft were at 100%, the entry is at 33% because two of its three enemy or two of its three ships have been sunk. So it has to kill the Gladius in order to win. And I simply do not think it has the firepower to do that in two and a half minutes. Not with the, the Gladius repairing away, especially. I mean, even without that, I don't think it could kill this ship in that time. Oh, the... just shot itself there. Well, if it keeps doing that... <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got another sinking situation. Alright, looking at the clock. Oh, is this thing disabled? Its guns are not aiming anymore. Yeah, it's disabled. That's it. We're calling it. It definitely cannot win without any weapons. So, congratulations to Brix. Your Gladius survives to move on to the next round of the secondary bracket. Unfortunately, Tic Tac, your entry has been eliminated uh, and will no longer be a part of the tournament from here on out. Uh, it was an interesting design. If you had more time to work on it, I think it would have done better, but I know you kind of slapped it together at the last minute sort of deal but uh it was fun to watch i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh i'll see you on the battlefield